Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. There have been a lot of developments in the NBA playoff picture. Right, I believe if you're handicapping who has a chance to win the title, you need to be extremely familiar with the playoff brackets. Right? So, recently, the Miami Heat beat the Indiana Pacers in Miami last night. The Heat are now the one seed in the East. That might not be a good thing. Understand that that means that they're going to have to face the winner of the Raptors Brooklyn Nets in the second round. It looks like the Chicago Bulls have leapfrogged the Raptors for the three seed in the Eastern Conference. Now understand nobody in these playoffs wants to play the Brooklyn Nets who have been red hot. As I said in an earlier video First year coach Jason Kidd has been named coach of the month two different times this season. Right? His team's been that successful. And of course, they have guys wearing rings, right? Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce. They have other guys who have played in multiple All Star games. Darren Williams, Joe Johnson come to mind, right? They're tough defensively, they're mentally tough, and now they're playing together. You have to discount what the Nets did in November when this relatively new team brought together, right? A team nursing significant injuries. Understand, Brooke Lopez is out for the year, right? Understand, KG had never played with Darren Williams, right? KG and Paul Pierce were joining a team that they did not know. Basketball is a chemistry sport. You have to discount the first, let's say, six weeks of the season in which the Nets stumbled. The real team is the recent team. I believe they're going to give one seed, Miami, all kinds of problems. Now, Miami is the favorite to win the Eastern Conference, but you should view those odds with suspicion. As long as a team like Brooklyn lies in the road ahead, right? If I were you, I would be careful. If you're betting on Miami as a hedge play, that's one thing. But if it's your primary play, just understand that their road to the finals has some bumps. Right, let's talk about the Western Conference. I've said this before, I'll say it again. Stick a fork in the Houston Rockets. Let me just point out, the Rockets played the Minnesota Timberwolves last night. Now keep in mind, they're in a bracket where you have some big scores. Right? Guys like, you know, uh, put it this way, guys like Kevin Durant reside in the Western Conference, right? You need to figure out how to take out the other team's lead weapon. Corey Brewer scored 51 points against the Houston Rockets yesterday. Let me just make an argument that if the Rockets can't contain a Corey Brewer, they stand little chance of containing a Kevin Durant or a Blake Griffin, right? Or a Stephen Curry. The Rockets, in my opinion, don't have that shut-down perimeter defender who can literally take a two or a three out of the game, right? Let me also point out, too, that the matchups aren't good for them. They face a very tough Portland Trailblazer team in the first round of the playoffs, right? How tough? Understand that the Rockets and Blazers have practically the same record, right? The Blazers have 28 losses on the year. The Rockets have 27 losses. 
In terms of record, not much separates that. If the Rockets are fortunate enough to get by the Blazers, understand they would then likely face the number one seed, the San Antonio Spurs. Now, I know the Rockets have had some success during the regular season against the Spurs. That's the regular season, right? I believe the playoffs are different. I believe the Spurs hit the switch in the playoffs. During the regular season, the Spurs are known to sit superstars, right? In their most recent game, I believe Tim Duncan and Manu Ginobili did not play. In the postseason, the whole crew is there because they understand it's won and done. Let me also point out that the Spurs, in my opinion, have a relatively easy road to the conference finals. Understand a lot of the teams that would pose problems for them are in the other bracket. Right? In the strongest bracket in these playoffs, understand that the Thunder, the Mavericks, the Clippers, and the Golden State Warriors are all in the same bracket. Right? The Spurs are only going to have to worry about facing one of those teams. Right? You don't have to worry about trying to dodge Chris Paul and Steph Curry because, of course, the Clippers play the Warriors in the first round. Now, let's talk about the Pacers. I believe the Pacers got a break. By being the two seed in the Eastern Conference, they only have to get by the Charlotte Bobcats, the Washington Wizards, and the Chicago Bulls. Now, I understand that the Bulls are a team that a lot of wise guys have circled. A lot of people feel that the Bulls have a good chance to beat the Pacers. I'll just put it to you this way. If I were Indiana, I would much rather play the Bulls than the Brooklyn Nets. Right? I believe the Nets are a better team than the Bulls. The Nets certainly have been a better team than the Bulls for the last two and a half months. There's no question about it. I'll agree, though that the Bulls are a compelling value play, right? Take a look at the odds, the most recent odds I've seen on whether the Bulls can win the NBA championship, and all you want is a position that you can hedge as this thing goes forward. Those latest odds were Chicago at 45 to 1. If you believe that the Pacers are in free fall, that they struggled even to beat the Milwaukee Bucks the game before they played the Miami Heat. Right? If you're concerned about Roy Hibbard's completely anemic, almost to the point of being non-existent numbers against the Miami Heat in their last game, which was the biggest game of the year, then you should be considering the Bulls at 45 to 1 to win the NBA championship. I don't think they win the NBA championship. I'm not even convinced that they get by the Pacers. But understand, if the casino is giving you 45 to 1, why wouldn't you want that leverage up front? Because if the Bulls get by the Washington Wizards and then play the Pacers in the second round of the NBA playoffs, then you could always hedge against the 45 to 1. So to sum up, the way the seedings come down... I believe you need to anticipate a very tough Miami Brooklyn Nets series. I believe the San Antonio Spurs are almost certainly going to make the Western Conference Finals. I'm not as sold on the Oklahoma City Thunder as many other people are. They're in, in my opinion, by far the toughest bracket, right? The Dallas Mavericks, the seventh seed in the West, Oklahoma City's first round opponent, has exactly the kind of KG veteran, right? Dirk Nowitzki, Vince Carter, Sean Marion, right? They have exactly the kind of KG veteran who is going to stand up in the playoffs, right? These guys, whatever they did in the regular season, they're going to do even more in the playoffs. They understand the significance. They understand their careers are winding down. 
right? They're not too thrown by the fact that they're the lower seed. I view even the first round matchup, the Thunder against the Mavericks, as being problematical, right? So, if you're an Oklahoma City Thunder person, just understand that if the Thunder get by the Mavs, then if the Thunder get by the winner of the Clippers against the Warriors, they would still have to likely face the San Antonio Spurs in the conference finals and of course the Spurs would have home court advantage so be very careful if I were you I would watch the Thunder closely at this point if I were just playing futures and if I were just starting to play futures now the teams that would intrigue me in this dance would be the Spurs in part because they have an easy bracket the Chicago Bulls because they're giving you such rich odds 45 to 1 and because the Pacers are of all of the 1 and 2 seeds the team that's not playing the best basketball right now right I would also be intrigued by the 33 to 1 Brooklyn Nets simply because they've been playing better ball than the Toronto Raptors for the last two and a half months and the Brooklyn Nets seem to match up well against the Miami Heat right these are all strategic positions you know I'm not even sure if you can call a winner in the NBA right now but what you can do is look at the risk reward and make good decisions that's my take on April the 12th let me hear yours let's talk about betting strategy for the NBA playoffs right let me just say that Basketball is a chemistry sport. I believe that you want to look at the teams that are gelling right now. Right? And you want to discount what happened in November and December. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.